hey, how you doing? If you don't know who you are, I'm going to tell you exactly how to find out. I've been talking to this little cutie, this guy, whatnot. We're just friends. But um, he has been giving me personalities about himself that I don't see that's him. So it may seem, you may say he's trying to be something that he not. He may feel that he has built up to be this person or built from this person. So basically, he's a professional, nice looking guy, clean cut, wears suits every day, entrepreneur, and work a good job. But he likes to tell me he was a thug, you know, gang related or, you know, the things they used to do back in the day. And how that's his character today. Like he would say his favorite term is, I'm a wolf in sheep clothing. So I was talking to him and something about me was just like, you know what? It wasn't even my business, even though he was telling me. I said, you keep telling me you're a wolf in sheep clothing. Do you really believe that that's who you are? And he said, yeah. I said, well, I can't be your friend if you were a uh, wolf in sheep clothing. And he said... See, you read too deep into it. I said, no. Nah. See, you are basically telling me that you are something that, that's not good. And let's cross out the good or bad. My thing was, I'm like, I'm going to take heed to what you say. So it sounds like to me, you are a person that presents themselves as a good person, but you're really a bad person or might not be a good person for me. So getting to the point, y'all. When you don't know who you are, you will find out with the people that you are closest to. See, back then compared to now, or maybe you might be in that back then still, which is your now, you deal with people that have the same characteristics of you. That's why you choose to hang with them. Birds of a feather flock together. Meaning, if your friend like to do something, Normally, you like to do that very same thing that that person like to do. You might like to do it differently, but you agree upon a lot of things that you like to do together. And when you're away from each other, you guys like to do those things. So I found myself telling him about himself when I'm in the stage of learning myself. And then I realized it was deeper than me and him. It was a spiritual learning. I'm like, okay, so if, if Mickey, you... Are this nice, sweet, sensitive girl, all you know, innocent, all this good stuff. I mean, I've done some things, but I don't think it was that bad. I think I'm a very good person. But because of my childhood, I changed to be this this gangster, this girl with this hard shell. You can't f with me, or uh, don't try me. Who do how the world had made me to be? To come to the conclusion that this man is. Everything I saw myself as a good girl, but trying to be the bad stuff so that the bad stuff wouldn't approach me. So <clears throat> I say all that to say when you're elevating and you're going through different stages in life, you cut off the bad stuff. And then when you let those bad things go in friends, you let those bad things go in you. Okay. Also, I wanted to say everything ain't for everybody. The way the world is using religion and God, Jehovah, the universe, uh, Prince of P, um, whoever you want to call your higher power, higher self, right? God says, stop labeling him. You are not comfortable with those things that you used to be. And you are not comfortable with yourself now if you don't know yourself. So how can you be comfortable with God? I call him my daddy or it, but I'm going to say my daddy. You can't be comfortable with daddy if it ain't free will. You got these people putting characteristics on you and different ways to know you or God and whatever else that you really, you know, need to care about at heart to survive in this world. But how can you if you never experienced it? How can I know my God, my daddy, if I didn't experience my God or my daddy? I could pick up the Bible any day and read it. That don't mean I understand. I can hear my friend talk about God and Jesus right now. I won't understand. 
I can hear the church talking about Jesus. It might make sense when they do their sermon, but when I leave, do I apply that to my life? Will it stick with me days later because I went up to the altar, the, uh, the altar and got saved? No, because I didn't, or whomever the person is, didn't experience God's presence or whatever lessons he's teaching. People are at different stages and going through different circumstances and different situations at different times. There's no way in the world that anybody's testimony could change your life unless you are going through the same thing. And guess what? Even the route they chose might not be the best route for you because you one step can be altered. One word can be changed. Anything can be different. God might set your blocks up different the way they, than when he set their blocks up. So, again, don't feel pressured or don't allow anybody to pressure you into believing in something unless you feel truly in your heart that it makes you comfortable. If it makes you uncomfortable, find another way. And don't even find another way. Find your way. Every day is signs around you. Every day God is with you. Some stuff might go down. If you just, my only advice that I agree on with everybody is to do not worry and be patient. And everybody don't know what patience means. And that's because ain't nobody been sat down to know what it meant. When it's time for you to learn patience, you're going to learn patience. So don't even rush to it. But I could tell you this. If you're going through a situation, if you're going through a storm, if you're going through some static, just change the tune. Don't apply everybody else music. Don't apply everybody else words. Don't apply everybody else emotions and thoughts and what they did. Don't apply they plan to your life. Allow yourself to stop and think. And breathe. And while you breathing and not worrying, it's going to change on its own. And you're going to find out you ain't have to do nothing. That's what I've been experiencing. I don't know where you at in life. I don't know how strong, firmly you feel about your situations. I'm just here to say, if it's pressuring you, it ain't for you. It's, that's abuse. Anything forced upon you is either physical or physical. Or mental abuse. And in today's day. Uh, we don't know what to do. So the only thing you can do. Is stop, breathe, and listen to yourself. You hear it. You heard it. It just said something to you right now. It either agree or disagree. But you heard it. Stop, think, and breathe. That's the only thing I say to you. Follow your heart, your mind, your gut, and your soul. Nothing should be beaten upon you. Nothing should be thrown at you. It's free will. And your ears is there for you to listen for free. <laughs> so listen to yourself. Everything going to be all right. Everything is going to be okay. I'm I'm getting my old spirit coming up out me, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> y'all have a good night.